Hi guys, it's Alston. In this video, I will show you how you can use Ubersuggest to do a full on-page SEO audit and fix all the problems in your website regarding technically or logically for SEO to make sure that your website is optimized for search engines. In this video, I will not cover all, all the other features in this video focused on on-page audit. If you wish to uh, understand Uber suggests to get you from beginner to pro within one hour. I have created a dedicated video for explaining everything about Uber suggests from a beginner to pro. So if you want, you can watch it. I will leave the link in the video description or if you're watching it in audio uh, article review, the video link will be also on the article above position as well. So I encourage you guys to watch that out. And also if you are interested in Uber suggests to do other tasks such as backlink analysis, keyword research, content marketing i have created separate videos and i will be linking those also in the video description okay without further ado let's directly jump into the video first what is on page audit on page audit is the process of fixing all the problems identified in your website to make sure that your website is optimized for to do a successful SEO campaign. When you are targeting low competition keyword or you are in a low target, a low competition industry or geographically, having a good on-page optimization for your website is more than enough to rank for really low competition or long tail keywords. So before you go and start doing backlink analysis, competitor analysis, all those crazy SEO, it's essential to make sure that your website is not only optimized for visitors or the people who are visiting your website, but to make sure to make it optimized for search engines when they visit your website. Based on the on-page score, based on the SEO optimization factors only, Google or other search engines will grade your website and analyze all the SEO factors and rank your website. So this is an important one. In Uber Suggest, you can do it by once you've gone through this application, you can see I have logged in. All you need to go is under the site audit. In this video, I will be focusing on only on on-page SEO fixing. You can check my other video for all the other fixing problems you can solve with Uber Suggest. Here, you enter any domain which is yours or your client's website which you want to optimize on page for example i'm going to put my domain and click on enter or click on search depending on your site's uh, low uh, pages it contains it will take several minutes you can add a uh, quickly do on page audit from here or you can even add a new project if you want to keep on schedule this process to every week check it you can add a new project from dashboard and you can do it it's really simple there's no complication once you added the project also when you click here it will come to this screen so i can explain you from this screen when you enter this you can see it shows when it was last crawled since I have added as project but recall but you can just ignore these things because these are not important. These are the important facts regarding the on page optimization. Basically L check shows what is your uh, L status for each web pages inside your web, uh, website. When it comes to SEO. Uh, Google or other searches does not consider your website as a global entity. Instead, they rank and assign SEO value for each single web pages because when, a, uh, when you're targeting keyword, even if your home page is ranking, that means the website is not ranking, the home page is ranking. So when an inner page is ranking, the website is not ranking, but the web page, a website's inner page is ranking. So it shows the issues of each and single pages in your website. For example, broken generally means a number of links inside your website are broken. Have issues shows number of web pages which has issues. Blocked shows number of web pages inside your website which has blocked the Google crawler or bots from accessing your website. Redirect shows uh, how many web pages in your website where you clicked on it rather than redirect uh, loading that particular website, it is redirecting to some else, uh, something else. 
so it shows that lt shows these are the web pages which found inside our website which are perfectly fine from the pages crawling aspect of it when you click on it it will take you to this screen where where they are showed all the basic stuff here you can go into detail but i'm not going to go into this detail because that page will be accessible from down here let me quickly show others areas also before we focus on the first thing you need to make sure that L check is done where it checks each and every page. The second thing you need to make sure that you fix the critical errors first because critical errors are the issues that have highest impact on your overall SEO health. Basically, when it comes to on-page SEO, there are so many factors that uh, throughout the years of experience, research and everything, we as SEO professionals have come up with these are the important elements and everything. Critical errors are one which has the highest impact rate. So these errors will likely to have more impact on your SEO ranking. So whenever we are going to fix some problem, we always need to make sure that even though there can be low priority issues, but you always to make sure that as much as possible, try to fix the critical errors. Warning are less impactful. We can also say warning errors like a medium error or something like that. Well, it's not that much impactful, but at the same time, optimizing this can lead to a much better ranking since these are also errors. Recommendation is where well, this is not uh, fully an error or something, but these are general recommendation from SEO uh, professional knowledge where you can improve these things to get a small additional benefit from on page. So this order is in a logical priority to for you guys to fix it. You can just click on any of it to go. Uh, this site speed. Uh, before I go into the details, let me all explain all the overview first. Site speed is very important because it shows uh, any uh, Google uh, for Google or any other web search engines on uh, website load time is also a SEO factor as well as a user experience factor because just think about it. If you are going into a website and it just keeps on loading for five, six, eight seconds and every time you go on page, what you will do is we generally don't like to wait. So we will close it, we will come out of it. So what happens is website load is definitely a user experience factor. Because of that SEO also it's a factor where Google or other search engine generally does not like site which loads a lot. So what do you need to do is it shows the what is the average range, is it in excellent range or is it in a good range, is it in a fair range. If you are in any of this poor or fair, you need to make sure to see how you can improve the site load and it shows the reason why is it loading. If I, if I go into this, it will take it and if we find that it's not providing as much as result you prefer then what you can do is you can go into another free tool i try to put a link for this also in the uh, video description this is something called a free tool where you go here and insert this particular url and you can test and you will see all the here they are not giving you any error why it's loading just giving you a summary but if you go inside here, they will list out all the errors and everything you can fix it. You can immediately, if you are a beginner, you might find something, but you can do a Google search. You can ask community. We have our own community on digital marketing. You can ask us. There are so many other communities in Facebook, forums, everything is available. So you can just fix on it or you can just contact me, ask in the comment. I will let you know, guys know. So desktop speed. And mobile speed also very important because mobile is also a big part of the search in nowadays life. So we need to make sure that our website load specifically good for desktop and also for mobile. For example, on my site for mobile, it's taking nine seconds, which means I need to improve it. It shows what are the problem, what is the things need to be done. Then since there is a limitation in over suggest where we don't see the, all the results, we can go into a site where you can see all the errors, things are shown here. If I open it up, it shows all the different things which I need to fix all the things and based on that you can do. And also you can see this free tool also gives you an 
idea on what needs to be fixed how you should be fixing all this all these errors are shown here so that is what side speed and once you have understood all these things now when you are ready to fix your on page mistakes all you need to do is click on see all issues here all issues which are found on your website will be listed for example uh, if it says zero anywhere that means it checked for this error in your website but there was no so you are good about it you don't need to worry about fixing it because you are zero difficulty shows uh, how difficult this SEO error is generally fixing it. So if it's like easy, it's an easy quick fix. If it's odd, then it might require some technical difficulties. If it's moderate, you can manage it. SEO impact shows uh, this particular on page factor, how much uh, impact it can do for SEO, whether positive or negative, shows the range. So if for example these shows three pages have low word count so in order to find out more about it and fix it all i need to do is click on it then what uber suggests now will do is it will take me to an additional page where it will list out all the three pages which have this error you can see it shows it and also if i'm not sure how can i fix it because it, this error is easy to identify because it says low word count which means i need to add more words to the page in a sensible way but let's say for example you don't have don't have the idea what you need to do is click on what is this and how do i fix it here it gives you what is this error and also it shows you how you can fix it so this is really good so for any errors you find and also you can see the errors are logically categorized into critical errors warning recommendation any errors you find click on it and you can see uh, 45 pages are with duplicate title tag then what i need to do is it shows this title tag has been used three different pages so what i need to do is i need to make sure that i remove it from two pages and make it unique as possible so it should give you detail but since i am experienced in seo i can easily understand the reason but if you are a beginner click on this read on it and make sure to fix and also if they are giving a link go into that and get more in depth so that's how you do a full on page audit and fix all the problems if you have any doubts if you're doing on page optimization and you are feeling some struggles feel free to let me know in the youtube comments or join our facebook group where we have so much digital marketers seo professional they will help each other out and also join so many other groups are available in facebook just type SEO groups there are so much more forms and everything so just ask around it and use this tool to definitely fix your on-page optimization because that is a huge factor in when it comes to SEO I hope this video was useful if it did please give a like and if you like to see more videos like this please subscribe and also share with your friends if you think that is useful to them once again thank you so much and I hope you have a great day cheers